Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org with another comparison video and this time I'm going to be comparing CompTIA online instructor-led training with our online Jobskillshare instructor-led IT training. Both uh, trainings are targeted towards who? The entry-level professionals who want to get into IT. So we want to do a comparison of which training can really give you the skills that can either, either land you a job or you feel good about after landing a job or you already landed a job and now you need to pick a certain type of training that can make you go out there and do the things on your own so you feel like you're not relying on other people too much. And that's the two type of members that we get in our platform a lot. And then they ask us questions that should I go for CompTIA first and get that training or should, should I take your training? So then, of course, we want to clear things out. Before I make this video, I want to put out some, uh, uh, you know, some uh, um, words out there that we are not paid by anyone. CompTIA is not our partner and nobody tells us what to do in our platform. We basically do everything what members tell us. So in this case, if there's a partner that don't like that we're talking about CompTIA, then they can clearly tell us and we can let them go from our platform. I have no worry letting people go from this platform because we are all about membership. We're all about members. We're all about, you know, people uh, uh, building their career. So this is not against CompTIA as well. It's two comparison and a human being who is just watching us have to use their common sense to look at their features and look at the pricing and look at the outcomes from two trainings, then of course they can make their decision. Now, if you remember from the Google, uh, uh, you know, comparison, we told people that, look, if you have the mentality of putting something on your resume and it has a name, then yes, you can do that. Of course, that that may help you. And that there's nothing wrong about that. If you have that strong mentality that you are not accepting something that so many other professionals are telling you that, look, you can land an IT entry level IT job without any certification. You just need to sell yourself, try to do better, try to go for some type of skills learning, try to Try to actually go for the certification, but you don't need to finish it. You can even put it on your resume that I'm actually I'm actually preparing or I'm actually, uh, this is a pending certification for me. You can still land a job. Now, I'm not going to go back and prove everything by screenshots and bringing people in. You can go to YouTube, our YouTube channel and look at those reviews, the live reviews that I did with people after the trainings and people have sent us messages. I did a lot of screenshots from people who have landed even tier two jobs without any certification. And then that's where people will come to us that because they want to learn skills because the job is the job, right? You still have to do resetting a password. You still have to do a lot of different things in IT that that will naturally make you look for content, look for videos, look for training. That's just natural stuff. And I, I really don't need to stress that to people who can use common sense. So the, 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 the comparison basically we want to do is between the two trainings that we are offering. One is this one, which is our training instructor led online training, how it works. There's a full video about it. What kind of features do we provide? And then we're going to do a comparison between CompTIA online instructor led training and what kind of features do they provide? Both are different. Both are very targeted, uh, you know, towards their audiences. Uh, like I said, their audience is also uh, almost entry level people who want to get into IT. And our audience is also who want to get into IT. But also we basically tell people that after you land a job, then what's next? So in their terms, the when I start the comparison is when you land a job as an entry level IT from their, uh, let's say, uh, uh, training, then the next step is that you have to come back and let's say, for example, you want to get even a little better in networking, then you got to go for networking, got to go for security, stuff like that, right? So there's a lot that you, they would want you to come back for this training then. Our method, our methodology is like this one. You land a job and you invest money with us for the first six months or one year. We want to give you so much that you may even make a decision by even doing your own training and, and have such an ability to do everything that you may not even need us. But if you do need us, then we have the ability to even give you a better and higher training that can take you to a next level like a sysadmin or network engineering jobs like that, rather than saying that, okay, let's do level two type of stuff. Let's do level three type of stuff. We don't do that. We, we teach you everything in one shot right there. Let's do a little comparison. Um, basically, what their course includes is 20 days of hands-on 
instructor-led online training, which I think is good because it's 20 days of uh, hands-on instructor-led online training. And then it depends on what this instructor is going to be teaching you about and what is the format. If it's a hands-on, does it include a lot of sliding? Uh, does it include all of that stuff? So somebody has to actually come back and tell us about this because this is just a comparison of by looking at their information, right? So if you look at that, their, their focus on the bottom right now is what? Their main focus is to prepare you for the certification. So that clearly tell us that the 20 days of hands-on training is extremely targeted towards that certification core one and core two, which is a lot of operating system and hardware kind of stuff. So you have to now think that does that's that stuff right there in CompTIA A+, does, does that cover the real world scenarios like ticketing, Active Directory, and Office 365, even Exchange in-house, because as a help desk, you are not just working on operating systems. Let me tell you, and I'm very confident by saying that, you're not working on operating system itself unless you work in some kind of repair shop and they're getting operating systems and you have to do a lot of detail type of, uh, you know, troubleshooting, then still that that's another whole story that is that even uh, good enough for that kind of a job. That's not my area. We're, we're, we're talking about corporate level, business level, small business, large businesses, help those people, IT support people. Do they really just work on operating systems? And I can guarantee you, people who have worked in this career will tell you clearly that that's not the case. And if somebody do, then that's probably a very, like, it's many people probably but a uh, majority of the people will come back and say no you got to learn about active directory you got to learn about office 365 if not if they're not using office 365, you got to learn about in-house exchange you need to know how to do mailboxes then you need to know about just the basic installations of software and deployments and then there's so many third-party tools that come to you doesn't cover because of their specific target so that uh, 20 days is good for, for live inst uh, instructors to have with you tr uh, 20 days. And if you really want to pass their CompTIA A plus exam, then that's good. But coming back to our problem is that, you know, how, wh how we were born, you know, we were born because we're not, we're babies in front of CompTIA, you know, platform, right? Because they've been there for so long, but that the reason they, we were born because of their problems like they weren't covering certain areas that is extremely important in the jobs go to indeed.com right now and find out any help this position and then you will find out so many people will just first line two line they're going to say do you know how to assign tickets ticketing information active directory information this information that information and when you look at your certification in comtia you certainly realize that wow there's a lot of things that i have no clue and people that come to us have a plus certification some of them have even ccna type of certification and when the when we ask them questions about active directory office 365 they have no clue about that so it's very kind of like this is where people get confused that okay now the real talk is right on the bottom right there okay do i need to spend that kind of money to just get that certification where there are other people who have actually landed a job with nothing not even our training so here you go i'm not even just telling you you really need to buy our certification or buy our training to get the job i'm saying you will get a job we are we have experienced that we have proven that in our platform that people have taken the job and then found us why did they come back to us by the way because they wanted to learn the skills somebody had to do that job the job has to be done so the the instinct the human nature is like this you go and sit in front of the job the first day they're going to say there's a ticket there's a the, a call is coming in you got to pick that call you got to have that you got to have that customer service you know skills or once you take it up then what do you do next technically you got to be prepared for that so that's where we're telling people that you still need training even if you go for that or ours then you need to make a decision do you want to spend $4000 to go for that specific certification so now this is what they're covering, right? Everything is there, you know, they are they're kind of like charging that kind of money. So now we're going to take you to our certification and what we provide you. First of all, when I share you this link, you should really watch this video. Our training is like this. We don't do email type of marketing where we tell people like buy our training or do a lot of Facebook type of thing. We tell people to use common sense. We tell people to come and check this out and come and check these 
features are versus other trainings. And if they are providing you something like that, then that's a good training. I will tell you myself, if you send it to us and we're like, okay, I will compare these two. And if they have something like this and they cover all these things that we're talking about, then I'll say that's a good training. Because here, I mean, we're not here to just kind of like bash on each other. Is that who have the ability to get to the goal? So what we give you is this. We give you 100 plus hands-on practice labs. Now, practice lab, probably most of you know, is also geared towards certification. But the way we use practice lab is a real thing. It's a real like servers, real routers. So people who are in this business, who are in IT for 10, 20 to 12 or 12 plus years, can use that equipment to teach their own skills. Meaning, you can see right there, even we are giving two 2.21102 in one of our courses, but we tell people that that's not what we're preparing you for. We're not preparing you for A plus certification, but what's inside those labs and people have done a hard work in that lab, we're just using that to tell you that, okay, when you are finishing our courses like IT Fundamental V1.0 has a lot of this content in there. And we're basically saying that, yes, it may say CompTIA Plus, but that doesn't mean we are preparing you for CompTIA Plus because there's a lot of things that we don't cover in CompTIA. We're not preparing your certification. We're preparing you for the job. So when you click on that, then there's, of course, operating system skills. That has nothing to do with CompTIA. It's just Windows 10 operating system. And somebody have done a great job in there. And then they have created all this content in there. And then there are labs. So then, of course, we don't want to invest that time in the live training. Instead, in the live training, what we do is we basically give you our own servers. So let me. So instead of you know, uh, using that labs and just talking about CompTIA specific certification and things like that. We don't do that. In our live training, we only give five days of live training. Now, five days is not enough for people to become an IT professional, but five day is more than enough to teach you Active Directory skills, Office 365 skills, software deployment skills, some of the troubleshooting skills, and some of the uh, applications that we use on the real jobs that can make a huge difference when you go to the interview because then you have a lot of knowledge right here so what do we do we give you a 30 gb hard disk 30 gb ram and a server very powerful server virtualized server and then you do the whole lab with instructor hands-on from scratch instructor create a domain controller instructor put an active directory on there then you get to know how things were created who gets to create that stuff then you know how to assign things because of your level we tell you this is not your job this is your job and we show you everything hands-on so a lot of energy has been invested in this and then of course after that we jump into more uh, applications like ticketing system so you get to create tickets hands-on you get to close ticket hands-on you get to basically do all that stuff hands-on and in phase two this is another beautiful part of our our training is that we have so many different partners that we use their content in a way to teach our own stuff basically so here again we have testout.com as a partner where it's included in your uh, payment for uh, the live training which i'm going to show you how much we we charge and then we basically talk about the things that we don't cover like mobile devices print printing stuff like that we think is too it's common it but you still need to know like some of the things that you can get away with this stuff you don't need to go to the details here's a lot of, here's the problem with uh normal trainings out there they give you this type of access we're not the only one giving you the partner's access they give you this access with their book type of training like you know they're gonna go somebody had to do a lecture and then say go back to these uh courses and then you know do these things but again when they come over here they are geared towards what com ta plus so most of the things that we are trying to cover are not covered over here or the way we're telling you the examples and somebody's lively telling you that okay uh, let's create a scenario and you do the things you make mistakes we make you do mistakes this is how the things are policies are so it's a complete understanding of network rather than just you giving you this access and then you just get stuck in in there and then that's it you lose your interest but instead of that we train you on the real world stuff then give you this access because it does have a lot of good stuff in there we're not saying that it doesn't have good stuff and again 
to tell people that this is not being sponsored because we are partner with these companies and we give their access and use their access in our own training. So it's not to tell you to go and buy their access or we're not giving you any coupons for this stuff. You have to take our training and then you can utilize this whole things that are being masterminded to help our, our people. And how do we do this? This is the kind of response that we get. Hi Danish, good news. I got a job offer from where I went for my first interview and this is the person who have no clue about IT did a T-Mobile job, came back and landed a job. Another person who took our membership training uh, and then of course after a few many tries and of course got the job. Our YouTube is full of this type of content, this type of uh, success stories. We have been in this business for five years now. We're babies in front of CompTIA. But overall, my personal thinking is that we are offering a lot, a lot more than what CompTIA is offering in their live training and either they can change that a little bit, make it a little bit different, make it more realistic, um, or I think that money is just too much. They're charging almost $4,000. Let's confirm that. Yes, $4,000. And we're charging $1,499 with a $200 discount. So it's a huge difference with huge amount of information that's missing in this training. If we were about to charge $4,000, I feel like at this level, we would be probably giving like, probably a sysadmin or network engineering type of a huge routers and labs and stuff like that which we still do for one year we give practice lab access so this is what i was talking about that career development so when you pay that one thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars you come back and you have this access this access practice lab access for one year and then of course after that we give you another 240 plus courses to radical courses that you can go and do things on your own so we tell people that we're not grabbing you to come back and in the same domain try to buy another live training so then you are always stuck and trying to take three or four trainings to get you to the advanced level once you start taking this training you are on your own and people have done magic to their uh, careers people started with 15 20 dollars and making 90k in three years some people have uh, jumped very quickly in our case some people took time this is the reality of it some people will be really successful some people are going to take time but that's what we're teaching we're teaching people real stuff what's real out there no BS kind of stuff, you know, we don't want to, we are not in into politics. We don't care what other people, like, you know, other big platforms are doing. What we are, what we care is where the problem is. The problem is right now is that most of these certifications are too specific to operating systems and that's it. And some of the uh, certifications like CCNA and Microsoft ones are all about themselves. They think that the whole world is around them. When you go to the job, you realize that it's Microsoft, Cisco, this, that, open source, free softwares. You got to know everything. And that's where people are going to give you jobs based on that. Easily, easily what I'm talking about, if you know about these things. But you can still land a job without any certification, not even our training, you can still land a job. If you can do your own labs, you'll still be good to go. The only thing is that you, why you go to gym is that you have a trainer that can train you and you know there's some results are going to come out because you pay the trainer for their time, their energy, their efforts. You can go to your gym, buy the membership and do everything by yourself. You'll still get the same results if you're very dedicated and that's the whole story of this whole thing. I mean, if you really want to do this, then we're providing this to you. If you want to go for certification like this, then there got to be a reason for you because you got to think about it then. Why am I taking this certification? So this is not to discourage you from CompTIA A+. It's a common sense, a clear cut. Everything is right in front of you. You should use your common sense to see which one is this. Now, if somebody have a problem with CompTIA and saying CompTIA stuff, message me. I'm not going to remove all, none of these videos. That's not going to happen. Probably if you're a partner with CompTIA and you want to lose our access, our uh, our members, then I'm, I'm glad to do that for you. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for the support from our members. Thank you for uh, being out there and, you know, being dedicated, being committed and being realistic is the biggest thing in this in this video. The message is be realistic, use your common sense and save some money. Thank you.